This is the event everyone in Cabo Verde has been waiting for. For two freaking years, yo. It's a three-day event with dozens of national and international performers. Thousands come from all over the other islands and abroad. And it is nicknamed Africa's Woodstock. And listen to this. It's free. Yeah, free. It started Friday and today is Saturday and it goes on until Monday morning. Me and Peter came early to look around. And he found a treat he's been looking for for a long time here. And it works, not like at McDonald's. All these shacks sell food and drinks. The cost starts at $200, depending on size. They're all hand-built and furnished by the renters. And here, there's no shortage of friends. There's an area reserved for those who'll stay all three days on site, in tents. I'm in the middle of the festival, Baida Sagata. Like a huge festival, as you can see. And look who's here, my BFF and her friend Linda. It's easy to get stuck in those little bars, like Henrik here, who never left this place. Me? I drifted solo because I wanted to enjoy the music. As the night gets on, more and more people come. I met up with Wendy and her friends, but they wanted to wander around and have me sponsor drinks. I didn't feel like being the sugar daddy tonight, so we went our separate ways. See ya. I'm gonna enjoy the music like these two. I mean, there must be 50,000 people or something here. It's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's just all part of the fair ambiance, man. I was also here to get video of my friend Maricia. I promised her. There she is on the left with the braids. Maricia danced her heart out with her dance group. They were featured with Looney Johnson, one of Cape Verde's biggest stars, and one of my absolute favorites. This was not like my days working at the Montreux Jazz Festival, where I had an all-access badge and filmed rock stars and was backstage all the time. I was with Lily in the mush. Lily was getting crushed, so we got the hell out of there. This was as close as I could get to film you, Marizia. <laughs> Rola! Try to get it! 
He played a long set of all his hits, and let me tell you, we know all his tunes. Have a listen and watch. He put on a spectacular show. Too bad the sound sucks here, but look him up on YouTube or Spotify. He's awesome. I got friends everywhere. Here's Dave and his beautiful wife. Well, it was cool, man. This place is awesome.
I got a message from Lily and Peter. They were at the Shisha Lounge. Peter had got me a VIP badge. The cool thing here tonight were balloons filled with laughing gas or nitrous oxide. Reminded me of the days we used to suck the whipped cream cans dry at the supermarket. But this is a lot more fun than the supermarket or at the dentist. There were two more acts on the big stage, but I was in no condition to wander in the crowd. We went on until sunrise, and we went on with our crowd here in a comfy VIP section. So Peter and I decided to go back to the boats to pick up some stuff like some booze and whatever. On our way there we ran out of gas. But we managed, grabbed a cab, got some gas on which Peter had in his boat and came back and uh, I think we're gonna do it. And I ran out of battery on my camera. We hung out all day drinking and more until we finally made it back to our boats and missed the whole Sunday night shows. <laughs> It was great to have you along on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You'll help us navigate better. Me and my boat Galapin promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs>